First thing, you've got the ultimate edition of the first 300. There's the front there. Let's check this out. There's the front. Really like that effect there. There's the back. That's pretty cool. And oh, there's a free easy for you guys as well. I like that, enjoy it. There you go. There's the um, inside. I wasn't going to get the the steel box uh, because I've got, uh, I'll show you now. I can this up when I, uh, my room's a mess. I've got the 300 uh, helmet. So I didn't want to get the steel box as well as have that. Mm. But I really like this. Ultimate, edition, uh, ultimate experience list, so I knew I just had to pick it up. So there's the 300, uh, there's the code again. Some of these are still sealed. I'm going to go through the sealed ones last. So, uh, not sealed, oops. Set my, uh, not sealed. Sealed, 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 not sealed. I don't think the sealed ones have the UV code, but the ones, the open ones, uh, which still have UV codes, will definitely have them. So next up, we've got the 3D Mad Max Fury Road, which the artwork on that looks so cool. I still haven't watched this, but i uh, definitely going to get around to it now. On the inside there, you've got the Blu-ray disc, and... I can get it out. The 3D disc there. Is the artwork on the inside? There we go. That is Mad Max Reload. Next up, we've got the J card Ghost in the Shell. I haven't seen this one either. Let's take this off from there. There's the back there. That was pretty nice. The boss there as well. You can there. Uh, there you go, pretty cool. Inside, we've got a 3D disc there, and the Blu-ray disc, there's nothing on the back of that, but there's the artwork on the other side. Then we have Ghost in the Shell. Next up, we have another one with the with the slip. Um, one that I've, I've seen a little bit of, it seemed really good. I, I, no, I haven't got around to watching the whole one. That's Arrival. I love the uh, the artwork though. There is the uh, J card there. There's the front. And there's the back. There we go. There's inside. Nice little, uh, normal, um, that's the same artwork you get on the DVD as well. There's the artwork inside the disc. And yeah, so that is Arrival. Next up, we get this plastic uh, cover. Next up, we've got Edge of Scissorhands Extended Edition. I love Tim Burton. I love this uh, glossy effect on there as well. And there's the back of it. Oh, that looks awesome. There we go. And inside, you've got all comes with the little uh, quarter J card. You get the Blu ray disc and the DVD. And there's the artwork there. There we go. So there's Edward Scissorhands. Uh, next up is one that I really, really enjoyed. I bought the I bought the UV code for it, and then um, I really I watched it on Flix the video, and I really really enjoyed it. So I just knew I had to pick it up. I love this kind of movies as well. Into the Storm. Day After Tomorrow is probably my favorite one. Then you got 2012 as well. It's brilliant as a back there. Amazing movie. There you go. So you get Blu-ray and. DVD there. If you haven't seen this, definitely recommend it. 
Richard Armitage without the Hobbit hair. Not Hobbit hair. Dwarf hair. Uh, next up with the slip, the J slip as well. I can't get it off. There we go. It's um, 3D. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. There you go. Like this one there. That's the bathroom, that's pretty cool. And inside there you got 3D Blu ray and normal Blu ray. There's the artwork on the inside there. There we go. Uh, last one for the open ones. Probably should have done this one first, but oh well. Yes, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. This is a really good movie. Really enjoyed this. There's the back there. And inside, oh. There's a digital copy there. You might keep that. And you've got the Blu-ray disc and the digital copy disc. You've got no artwork on the inside. It's a shame. So, now let's get started on the ones that I need to open. First up, I'll open this one because it's partially open. Get rid of these uh, J cards and covers. So first up, we've got Guillermo del Toro, Pan's Labyrinth. Probably said that wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Didn't he do The Shape of Water? Because I watched that recently. Amazing movie. That is a brilliant movie. Definitely recommend that as well. Let's get this open. The um, the makeup on this is just amazing as well. Right, here we go. So we got the slip there. That actually reminds me of something in Shape of Water. To be honest. Oh, look at that! That is brilliant. So let's get rid of that check out there. For now. So we've got the inside. Just the one disc there. Just the Blu-ray disc. Brilliant artwork in there. I've seen this a couple of times, which is something that you just go back to visit all the time because there's always something that you miss from it. Uh, next up, I got The Mummy. Love The Mummy movies. Um, I did like the 2017 Mummy with Tom Cruise. Not a patch on the original, though, in my opinion. I'm using my, uh, my alien spine, my alien predator spine, to open it up. see spine uh, it's got little stickers there which they'll come off nice and easy German on the back I assume yeah German uh, no artwork on the inside you find that with a lot of German uh, releases but there's a disc there the mummy uh, is that? it's got to be region B anyway because it's um, German I don't know whether it was on ABC it is not shown oh well I'll play anyway, because I play my Blu-rays on the PlayStation 4. Next up, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Marvels. So let's get started. First up, I've got Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Let's open this one. I think uh, the Marvel ones are, yeah, so it's very multi-regional on this one. I don't know if they will them. I can't wait to pick up um, Ant Man and the Wasp when that comes out. Really, really enjoyed the first one, and I did like the uh, Evangeline Lily's character in it, so hopefully, it, this one's just as good. We've got the lenticular cover as well. It's, uh, there you go. Pretty cool. Does it line up? I find that with a lot of these, they don't actually line up. Oh, it does or not? Well, that's a surprise. There's the back there. Oh. I do like that, that's pretty cool. And inside, then, you've got the blue disc, the 3D Blu ray, and the normal Blu ray. And there's the artwork in there. Ooh, I like that. There you go. That's Captain America, the Winter Soldier. 
Next up, uh, there's one I haven't actually seen. I've been wanting to watch it for a while, and I thought, uh, and my mate said he had it to sell. I thought, why not? And that is Doctor Strange. There we go. Let's get this one open. Uh, if I can get it open. There we are. I've had that bloody perfect thing that sprays every uh, 50 minutes and still trying to clap on me. There we go. It's a lenticular cover as well. And you've got the J card here. Put them to the side because I'm going to keep the uh, Marvel ones. So, let's see. Matches as well. And it lines up. Which is even more cool. There's the back there. And the inside is the outer back. Once again, you got the 3D Blu ray and the normal Blu ray in blue. And there's the artwork then. There you go. Right, cool. I'm not sure then. There we go. Next up, one, two, three, four, six. Six left. So we got Captain America Civil War. And the only one I'm missing now is um, there's a couple of Marvel ones I'm missing. I can't think of what one it is. I got one coming from eBay. This Iron Man 2. So I got Iron Man 1 on uh, Nova Media. There we go. Got Captain America Civil War there. That's pretty cool. Black Panther there. <laughs> uh, that's one movie I still haven't seen actually. Uh, this one lines up as well, this lentic one. Pretty cool. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. And there's the back of her. That's cool as well. So, once again, the blue discs, Blu ray, and 3D. There's the artwork on the inside. Oh, that's nice. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Awesome. That's Captain America Civil War. But how many Marvel movies as I am I've actually been in? Uh, next up. I need to get the rest of these ones as well. I got Thor The Dark World. I've seen Thor Ragnarok. They'd actually enjoy that. There you go. Take this out. Um, a fan of... Um, Cat Denon's in this. I'm a fan of Cat Denon's in general. Really love the Two Broke Girls program. Right, there's the J card for Thor Dark World. Once again, I'm going to take a little slip. Which, if I do that, doesn't line up. Oh, that's a bit irritating. But that's fine. There's the artwork on the back there. Oh, look at that. And that's just the artwork on that one. Not much compared to the uh, other marbles, but it's pretty cool all the same. Right, four marbles left, and then just uh, the six steel books left in total. Next, I picked up the Incredible Hulk. Is open. Yep. I see, uh, not the best Marvel movie, but still a Marvel movie all the same. Nice little tickler cover as well. Oh yeah, I 
Kennst du es mir? Ja. Von Aki Gelle auch. Oh, there we go. Bitte von mir. There we go. Das ist von Ella. Also, da war auch da. Das ist der Bachbär. Das ist die Halle mit der Desk. Right, three more marbles left. Then we got the help with Eric Banner then. I'm sure this is uh right, Jennifer Connolly. Wasn't she Spider Man Tom Holland Holland Spider Man's new uh suit, Karen. Pretty sure that was um Jennifer Connolly. I may be wrong though. I probably am wrong. There we go. There's the hook there. In the front. And the, oh, I like that. In the back. These are quite heavy, these uh, steel books. There's the artwork there. Oh, that is pretty neat. I like that eye. Next one, I got Iron Man 3 steel book. Not the best Iron Man, in my opinion. But uh, still in the right movie, all the same. Got the uh, slip cover as well. Goes in this one. Yep. That one lines up. There's Iron Man 3 there. There's the back. Oh, that's really cool. And there's the inside, obviously the two blue discs. If I can get the bloody thing out. There we are. There's the back there. The last marble one now. And that is Avengers Age of Ultron. Let's get this open. It's stuck. This uh, then doesn't line up. As you can see, you've got Ultron there and then Ultron's in the middle. So, there we go. There's the back there. And there's the inside. There's the artwork there. And that looks cool, doesn't it? Here we go. I've just got two steel books left now. And they both should have UV codes. So first up we've got E.T. the extraterrestrial. Let's get some up on there. The last one of all, after E.T. Um, is one that I saw the other night and I really, really enjoyed it. Brilliant movie. And then I'll show you that in a minute now. There we go. There's the front of E.T. That classic, classic scene. E.T. and Elliot there. Da da da. Code for E.T. There we go. Put that to one side. There's the artwork on, oh, that artwork is awesome, I love that, you cannot beat that, okay. here we go, that's brilliant E.T. And the last one now, like I said, I watched it the other night, brilliant movie, starring Dalian, Daniel Radke, Radcliffe Horns, I really, really enjoyed this. Now right, let's get this open, this one should have UV code as well today. Yeah, I had this on my UV list and I downloaded it the other night and just knew that I had to get it. So it's got the uh, J code there. Right, go for it. Oh. 
There we go. Look at that back. That's a gorgeous back there. And there's the front there. With the egg and the snakes. And inside. There we go. Yeah, I love that. He will bring out the devil in you. There's the info on the card. There we go. Oh my god, she was his beauty, now she's his curse. That's cool. Juno Temple, brilliant in this as well. And uh, just like on the front of the slip, he'll bring out the devil in you. It's a brilliant movie. Really recommend it if you haven't seen it. So uh, that's it for my Steelbook um, haul.